Okay, four-way reach with the ball. So this is about a three-pound ball. Um, and it's just gonna add just enough lever to kind of really make my hip work in a bunch of different planes here. So I'm gonna stand. This is, so the motion is gonna be the kind of the warrior three, this step back motion here. And I'm gonna reach the ball with my arm in each direction. So to feel the, feel the lever. So take a breath in, set the course, the posture, long leg, ball the big toe on this working leg. And then when I go out, I'm gonna reach out in front of me. Come back up. Reach out to the side, opposite side of the leg I'm standing on. I really feel this outer hip working. I'm working to keep my left hip square to the ground so I don't open myself up. Back up, reach out to the other side. So this is kind of a long arm situation. Try to get my long arm out long, long, long here. Come back up and then reach down behind me or down towards my back leg, down towards my back foot and come back up. Now we can do another round where we go actually more, that's more of keeping the same angle in the, in the knee here. So with more of a warrior three type of motion, we can do the same thing with a single leg squat version where I'm stepping back with the back leg and kind of tapping the ground. Now from the side, I'm still trying to keep my back knee or my knee over my ankle as much as I can. So I work the hip hinge as best as I can. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Good breath in, hinge, spine straight. Uh, core engaged, reach, maybe tap it to the ground. Come back up, out to the side, reach it, maybe tap it to the ground as, as wide as I can. I'm really having to work to keep this thigh outward. Back up, across the body. Tap, back up, and then behind me, as far as I can, you'll really feel glute max here. Tap, as I squat down, and then come back up. Four-way reach, a couple different variations with the ball.